It seems as if LEGO doesn't treat the X-Men with much love. We have received three sets, one of which is a Mighty Micros, and out of those three sets, six of the figure slots are taken up by Wolverine and Magneto. Sure, they are variants, but still. And then we also got a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figure. But I feel like LEGO should go ahead and release more X-Men sets and figures. Since there are so many X-Men characters missing in the lineup, it leaves us as fans and customizers to make them ourselves. So, in this video, I will be showing off my custom LEGO Jubilee from X-Men. Starting from the top is the hair, and it comes on Robin. You can also find it in many other sets across numerous themes, though. I really wanted Jubilee to have her glasses, so I went ahead and used Tracer Head. Sure, they aren't pink, but they work perfect enough for a purist option. Jubilee's torso comes from April O'Neil, and I went with this option so she can have her yellow jacket. Unfortunately, no pink shirt, but I feel like that was a sacrifice worth making. The light flesh hands were swapped out for a standard pair of blue ones, representing Jubilee's gloves. I took the hit piece from the Monster Fighter's Werewolf, as it has that wonderful belt design nearly identical to her belt, and then Finn's legs were the last part used here, as they give the shorts and shoes. So yeah, there's Jubilee. Do you guys like how she turned out? Also, do you guys think that LEGO will make more X-Men sets eventually? Do you think Jubilee will one day be in the MCU? Express all of your thoughts down in the comments. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe for more custom minifigure content. That's all. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.